First tonight, the Capitol area reeling from the violent death of a seven year old who was mauled by a dog. First grader Sadie DeVilla was playing outside a family member's house around 6 30 Friday evening when a neighbor's pit bull violently attacked and killed her. We're now learning more from two friends of the dog's owner, 20 year old Eric Lopez. They say the attack was more than unexpected. News 2's Callista Matrician has more on how situations like this are a growing concern for the city. You're looking at the moment animal control captured an unrestrained pit bull after it viciously attacked and killed a seven year old. It's, there, it's always dangerous. The dangers of unrestrained dogs are injury to people, obviously, being the worst. First grader Sadie DeVilla was rushed to Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital Friday night where she died from her injuries after the attack. By Saturday, 20-year-old Eric Lopez was booked into East Baton Rouge Parish Prison with a charge of negligent homicide. Friends of Lopez say it's a shock. He's in jail. Never seen, never knew why he'll go to jail for any reason. It wasn't the only thing that shocked them. They say they knew the young pit bull well. It was like a little baby that would come run up to anybody and jump on them. And wiggle his tail. Lifelong dog specialist Ed Herb says that doesn't take away from knowing what happened to Sadie. You can't just pretend that because it's sweet when it's young and it's always grown up in your house from a puppy and it's just, you know, everything's pleasant, that it doesn't have a genetic drive to do certain things. You can recognize the danger in a breed because certain breeds have tremendous bite force. That force left Avila with multiple bites to the face and severe skull damage. A twisted turn of events from her other visits with the dog. Like usually she out there playing on a little pay playground they got right there and she called a dog. The family's house is just down the street from Lopez on Kendallwood Road near the Amy River and Parish Line with Ascension. More than violating parish laws, Herb says dogs should never be unrestricted. Don't know how it's going to escalate. It's a matter, it, it can be a matter of when. In what way it exactly escalated is still in question. Arrest reports detail the dog's bloody and beaten face. According to Lopez's friends who were at his house that night, family members fighting off the dog wasn't the only cause. Supposedly they had a, they had a dog fight over there, and then the little girl, little girl got in between it. It came as young Davila had so much promise awaiting her. Something Superintendent Cito Narcisse said in public statement. Her impact reached many at Woodlawn Elementary. As grievances continue, so do concerns. On the same stretch of road, children playing. Not far, other unrestrained dogs roaming. A problem that plagues more than just one part of the parish. Callista Matrician, WBRZ News 2. The dog owner's bond has been set at $7,500. Animal Control also says they're now running rabies tests on the euthanized dog, which should be in by next week.